On my balcony, I have two of these red cordylines. This is a cherry sensation. I got one there, one over there, and I usually fill the rest of the pots with some annuals. But I did something a little different this year um, so far, aside from not putting any anything else in them. But I did throw these in the garage during our really kind of cold events. And being in the pot up here, they most certainly would have um, had damage in the center. But look at all of the new growth this year. You can, you can tell what's new and what's old. Pretty obvious, I think. The coloration. And look how much growth these have put out. I think that they've enjoyed all the rain, but uh, I used Osmocote, you know, you can get that at just about anywhere. And I dumped a bunch of Osmocote on here early, maybe a month or so ago. And I do try to, you know, top dress this pot a little bit, but you know, the soil's gonna get old with time, but I threw a whole bunch of Osmocote on top of here, and with all the rain we've having, I think that these guys are really appreciating it. Look at all the new growth. So the cordylines in our neighborhood, with the cold weather we had this year, what I can tell you is that all of the green ones were completely fine, untouched. Uh, Torbay no, actually, there were no Torbay Dazzlers. The Cha Cha, um, Cherry Sensation, and the Red Star are the ones that, the colored ones that I've, that I see in the neighborhood. And they all looked good after that freeze. And it was probably within the last six weeks, uh, maybe six weeks ago or something. So a month or two after the freeze, they all actually lost their center growing point. I won't call it a spear because they're not a palm, but this part pulled out of all of them. But I am happy to report that they have all recovered and are all pushing new growth from that center growing point. They didn't, uh, sometimes they'll kind of sucker, but this year the all of these ones did come back. So that was good, but mine, because I just kind of picked them up and I could throw them in the garage for, for the, you know, a week or whatever it was, um, look flawless look really good and I'm probably just gonna get in here and pull off pull off the old um, leaves just pull them off at the base you just grab them and just kind of just pull like sideways and they just kind of shear off it's really easy to do just start with the the lowest one right so watch I, I just kind of pull down and then pull at an angle and they just come off very cleanly get that nice trunk exposed so that's how you uh clean them up in spring and anytime throughout summer whenever you kind of have these these pretty much dead leaves just pull them off it's very easy to do you can clean them up real nice